On December 16, 1962, fabled Eagles linebacker Chuck Bednarik, number 60, said a final farewell to pro football. From opening whistle to final gun, the game produced a season's worth of excitement on a single Sunday afternoon. The Eagles appeared unbeatable behind the slingshot arm of Sonny Jurgensen and the sure hands of a tiny toe-headed receiver named Tommy McDonald. Jurgensen threw five touchdown passes and the acrobatic McDonald, number 25, caught three of them. For the beleaguered keeper of statistics, the need for a calculator became evident with the entrance of number 22, running back Timmy Brown. Brown scored twice, and his 341 yards of total offense helped him set both the NFL single game and season records for combined yardage. Incredibly, even with this diverse and bountiful offense, the Philadelphia Eagles lost the football game. General by number 12, Charlie Johnson, the St. Louis attack exposed the deficiencies of an Eagle secondary that functioned somewhere between a trance and a deep sleep. The Cardinals dug deep into their playbook and pulled out one trick play after another. This buried offense rolled up almost 600 yards, six touchdowns, and a 45-35 victory. It was ironic that on a day when both teams combined for an NFL record 834 yards passing, one of the sport's greatest defenders, Hall of Fame linebacker Chuck Bednarik, played his last game.